everybody, Scott Sprintzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Monday, October 7th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in Monday Night Football in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you're not yet a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or any other capper on the roster at DocSports.com for that matter. And also, by the way, you still get that DocSports guarantee, even though it's a free $60 account. Again, get started by clicking on the link below the video and get your free $60 account. All right, let's talk a little bit about what happened over the weekend, a little bit about what's going on for Monday, and then uh, we'll get into our Monday Night Football free pick. First of all, uh, on Sunday, we ended up going 4-1-1. One, and one. Uh, 2 0 and one in the NFL. We won with the Vikings. We won with the Denver Broncos. The eight-star, I reluctantly had to settle for a push uh, with Baltimore in that game. So 2-0-1 one in the NFL. Uh, we cashed again in NASCAR. Thanks for all of you who jumped on board both with the NFL, uh, with NASCAR again. The winner on Sunday for us, matchup winner, was Truex over Keselowski, which brings us now to 11-1 and one in our last 12 NASCAR races. 17, make that 18-4 and four now with our last 22 going back to May 1st. And since we've been on this 18-4 and four run, we are now up over $6,700 in NASCAR for those wagering just $100 per unit. Next week, one of my favorite tracks, Talladega. It goes next Sunday. We'll talk a little bit more about that uh, as we get closer to next weekend. As far as everything else, uh, in uh, WNBA, I was on the wrong side on Sunday. I had Connecticut. They got beat. We're still on a 45-25 and 25 run with a couple of pushes. We will be back in action on Tuesday, Game 4 of the WNBA Finals. Uh, baseball, we had one play on Sunday. We won easily and under between the Braves and the Cardinals uh, cashing that ticket. We're now 5-1 and one in the playoffs. I passed in the NHL on Sunday, everybody, but uh, we did win again on Saturday. We're now 5-0 and oh this season in the NHL, and I told you about these early season numbers that I like to play when it comes to the NHL. October, November run, going back to the start of last year. October, November last year, 5 0 start this year. We're now 27 and 11 uh, with 38 NHL plays. And we've got NHL going on Monday. I've got Major League Baseball going on Monday, pre uh, premium picks. The baseball play available at 11 30 a.m. Eastern, 8 30 a.m. Pacific. It is an underdog from Monday's card. And you got, what, four games of playoff action. Can't wait to jump into it. We'll to go to six and one with our baseball plays with Monday's underdog. NHL, I got a power play side. We'll look to go to six and oh on the season with my NHL plays. Go grab that over at docsports.com on Monday morning. Uh, WNBA is not back till Tuesday, so two plays on Monday. We look to go to two and oh. And here's the thing, folks, going back a couple of weeks now in football, college and NFL combined 63% against the spread since September 22nd. And how about this? 32 and 17, 65% against the number all sports the past couple of weeks over at DocSports.com. So we're hot. We look to remain hot on Monday with baseball and the NHL. And uh, also wanted to mention real quickly that uh, during this 32-17 and 17 run, uh, we've been able to put up over $5,100 of profit for those wagering $100 per unit. So listen, thanks to those who have jumped on board. If you haven't yet, uh, maybe go check it out if you wish. As far as our free picks, we won on Saturday. Uh, college football winner with BC, Boston College, plus the points. I did not win yesterday with the free pick. We had Tampa Bay plus the points over New Orleans. How about that game on Sunday night? Indianapolis just taking it to KC in the trenches. We weren't involved in the game as far as any premium or free pick, but man, watching Indianapolis do what teams should try to do against KC. Run the ball right at them. Keep Mahomes and that offense a little bit discombobulated and off the field with the occasional dump-off passes, swing passes, throwing to your running backs out of the backfield. They just out-coached KC, outplayed KC. KC in that win last night. I, I just, like, again, I didn't have any play on it. I didn't have Indy. I didn't have KC. Uh, but the bottom line was I was just impressed with Frank Reich. And again, the Indianapolis Colts getting it done even after Andrew Luck uh, retired uh, back in August. All right. Free pick in just a moment. It is opening line report real quick here. We talk about where the Cirque, uh, Cirque uh, excuse me, opened their lines on Sundays in college football and then where they had to move them because of action. And we're going to start right away. Wednesday night football this week, by the way, Appalachian State at UL Lafayette. The Cirque opened App State 2. They are now a two-point dog as the action came in on UL Lafayette. The other books, while well, they follow suit, they wait and see what happens a little bit and they open their lines a little bit later and they have the UL Lafayette a two-point favorite. Uh, Thursday night action 
action, UL Monroe at Texas State. Texas State opened up a one-point home favorite. They are now a three-and-a-half point underdog. Uh, Colorado State at New Mexico. Interesting Mountain West battle. Colorado State may not be chalking up a whole bunch of wins, but they have played better for the most part uh, than a lot of people would have thought going into this season. Eventually, they'll probably wear down. Maybe on the road will be it, but they are in Albuquerque to take on New Mexico. Colorado State opened seven. Uh, they are now four over at Circa. Uh, headed to uh, Saturday's card, Louisville Wake Forest at Wake Forest. It's an ACC clash. Wake Forest opened nine down to six and a half. They're now getting in that range where I might want to jump on Wake in this one. More on that later in the week. Oklahoma, Texas, Red River rivalry, or as we look, used to call it when we weren't wimps, Red River shootout. Uh, this game will be played on, uh, of course, a neutral field in Dallas on uh, Saturday. Oklahoma, a nine and a half point favorite. Now it opened and has remained there basically for the most part in no movement on it as of yet, but I do want to tell you about some of these big games that are coming up on Saturday where the line sits. There are some tens out there, but for the most part, Oklahoma nine and a half point favorite. We're going to be talking about that one throughout the week on radio and here on the videos. Maryland at Purdue. Maryland open two. They're up to five and a half. Uh, the Boilermakers just beset by injury after injury. Key injuries all season long. Iowa State opens seven and a half in West Virginia. Cyclones were our big play on Saturday against TCU. They open seven and a half at the Mountaineers. They are up to nine and a half. Uh, let's see. Washington State at Arizona State around 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon Pacific in the Pac-12. The Sun Devils opened up a one-point favorite over the Cougars. They're up to three. Washington off the loss to Stanford. The Huskies with two losses on the season, losing to the teams from NoCal. Talking about California and Stanford. Washington's at Arizona this week. They opened nine and a half to the Huskies. They have been bet down to seven. Uh, that's another game that I might be interested in looking at a little bit later in the week and uh, we'll talk about it here if we do. Uh, Texas Tech at Baylor. Texas Tech off a nice win. Baylor opened 11. They're down to 9. BYU at South Florida. South Florida getting some love. Circa opens the Cougars of Brigham Young 6.5. That number down to 4. Cincinnati at Houston in AAC action. Cincy off the big Friday night win over Central Florida. We had Cincy in that one. Uh, they opened 7.5. They're down to 5.5. Money coming in on Houston and they played hard uh, despite a couple of key players including their quarterback uh, declaring a red shirt year after the team had a rough start. Connecticut at Tulane. Who would have thunk you would have ever saw Tulane, a 35 point favorite? That's where they currently sit. They opened 30 at Circa. They are now 35. Who would have thunk it? San Jose State at Nevada. The Spartans playing inspired football this season. They are getting the money right now. Uh, Circa opened Nevada seven and a half at home. They are down to three. Thought I'd mention this one just because it's probably the biggest game of the week. Alabama at Texas A&M. As far as the numbers concerned, not so great. Uh, as Alabama opened 18, they are now 18 and a half. Not much movement there. Charlotte at FIU. FIU opened two. They are now five and a half at home. Fresno State at Air Force wraps up the movement. Air Force opened six and a half at home at the Academy. Uh, they are down to four now, uh, laying four to Fresno State. So those are some of the moves after the Circa again sticks their neck out all season long. It ain't easy opening up numbers before anybody else. They've done so. And there's generally been about, well, five, six games per Sunday, if you've been watching these videos, uh, where he, within a couple of hours, those numbers are moving three points, sometimes even more than that. All right, uh, again, before I get to the free pick, a real quick note. Don't forget, two plays, premium picks on Monday. Baseball, as we look to go to 6-1 and one of the playoffs, I've got a baseball underdog on Monday, and I've got my uh, NHL power play side going on Monday as we look to go to 6-0 and oh there on the season in the NHL. All right, let's get to it, to our uh, free pick for Monday. It's, of course, the Cleveland Browns at the San Francisco 49ers. An opinion here on the Niners minus the points, and yeah, that number has gone up a little bit from where it opened. That's a bummer, no doubt about it. Uh, but we were on Cleveland last you know, week, uh, what was it, Thursday or whatever, talked about the fact that if they could take away Hollywood Brown and Baltimore's top receiver, Hollywood Brown, their top deep threat, they should have a chance to force Lamar Jackson into some mistakes, maybe get the win. Uh, and they did. They absolutely got the win, not last Thursday, but uh, a couple of Sundays ago. And so now everybody's back on them. Everybody jumped the ship with Cleveland before they played Baltimore. Now everybody's coming back on them. And by everybody, I mean a lot of the general public, certainly not the Sharps, who drove the 
the number up as soon as it opened. But as far as the Niners are concerned, listen, Jimmy Garoppolo just wins football games when he starts. The team's 3-0 this year. He's 9-2 straight up in his 11 games as a starter for San Francisco. And by the way, I don't know if you guys are into a lot of the metrics. I am on a couple of them. DVOA, which was started by another um, group who's done a great job over the last few years with some of these metrics. DVOA is the real deal. Defense adjusted value over average kind of measures, or doesn't kind of, it does measure the success based on the down and the distance throughout the course of the game for a defense. Well, San Francisco is one of the best in all of the NFL. I like their defense. Of course, I like what Jimmy Garoppolo is doing. The coaching has been in place this year, and I think they get the win and the cover on Monday night. So an opinion on San Francisco minus the points. If you happen to uh, agree, then jump on that side. If you like Cleveland, by all means, you know, go with what you handicap and play that other side. But for us, it's going to be the San Francisco 49ers minus the points, our free video pick in Monday Night Football. It's going to do it for me on Monday. Don't forget, when we come back Tuesday night, we'll have our NFL recap for this past weekend, including whatever happens on Monday night football and i'm scott spritzer DocSports.com. click on that thumbs up button if you like these videos and be sure to subscribe i do appreciate those of you who have done so thus far let's put monday in the win column right back here tuesday no later than 5 a.m eastern 2 a.m pacific